you know, you can't separate our WA lifestyle away from this beautiful coastline. I mean, most of our population live along it, and why wouldn't you? We have incredible fisheries, beautiful marine parks, and I take every opportunity I can to get out and in it. This morning, I got up nice and early for a spot of fishing just off the coast of Frio. My fishing buddy is an old mate of mine, Chef Pete Manifest, and I think he cooks the best seafood in town. And both his fishing and his cooking talents are going to come in really handy today. Pete has travelled the world promoting our state's seafood, and today he's going to help me catch and cook up a WA staple, which I think is quite underrated. We need the light lines, and the great news is we don't really have to go out far, as our target prefers shallow water. You know, some of my favourite memories as a kid is when Dad used to gather up all of us feral kids, chuck us into a beaten-up tinny and take us out fishing for herring. I just loved every moment of it. I loved the anticipation, I loved the fighting over the spot in the boat and I loved, believe it or not, the stinky old bait. It's a part of the West Aussie life, isn't it, Pete? Now, herring's found right the way around our coast, starting up around Shark Bay. So they're one of the most common fish on the end of an angler's line. So, Pete, do you love herring? Herring's one of my most favourite fish. Not many people get to eat it in restaurants, so um, this is the only way you're sort of going to eat it if you come out and catch it yourself. Oh, Pete, I've got some action here. Whoa! Whoa! I always hate this part. <laughs> now, for all you people who think that this little herring is bait fish, I am going to turn you. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful Sicilian herring dish with loads of wonderful flavours. So I start by making a simple dressing. So in a bowl, I'm going to pop about a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. And then I'm going to use lots of orange rind, about the rind of one orange. And I'm using my zester to do this. And about a quarter of a cup of orange juice. Now I add a teaspoon of fennel seeds, one whole chilli thinly sliced, a clove of finely chopped garlic, and some Sicilian olives. OK, now I'm going to add some fresh coriander leaves. I'm not using the roots in this recipe, just the leaves and about a cup of freshly chopped coriander. So that goes into the dressing. And then I'm just going to add just a little drizzle of olive oil in there. So we mix this all together, dressing aside, and we're ready to cook the herring. Now, you have to start by having a really, really hot pan. Pop a little bit of olive oil into the pan. Right, let's get this little herring into this hot pan, skin side down, and we cook it for about two to three minutes until it's almost cooked through. A bit of shape. So they're ready to turn, Pete. Do you want to grab the dressing? Yep, I've got that. OK. Oh, look at that. Nice and golden, just the way we love it. Right, let's pour that dressing over. Pour it in. Oh, yeah. All around, share it around. Mm-hmm. Oh, yum. I know. It looks tasty. Well, Pete, I reckon this is ready to go. I've whipped up a really handy leafy green salad there. Yep. Let's get eating. Yep. Oh, how fantastic is this, Pete? It's fresh, it's simple, and it's straight off the back of the boat. I'm not sharing mine. I'm not sharing mine either. Yum. Mmm. If you'd like the recipe and directions to my secret fishing spot, make sure you log on to our website.